Costco, fed up with city development processes, announces it will not build a new store in Duluth, and it never does. A child care center in Lakeside, after pleas from parents and teachers to the owners to work with them falls short, closes its doors, and leaves 60 plus kids in Duluth without care. The organizers of the Memorial Day Parade, unable to fund a city fee increase from $400 to $4,000, are forced to move a West Duluth tradition for decades to another community. The Duluth Police Department, after years of ranking dead last in salaries compared to other agencies, sees a mass exodus of talented officers flee for jobs in cities other than Duluth after Duluth leaders failed to address the crisis for staffing retention that came and accelerated in the wake of the defund the police movement in Minneapolis. And Spear Mountain never gets its act together, continuing to spiral financially and with no end in sight becomes a top campaign issue in 2023. Like a bad choose your own adventure book, these outcomes were, I would argue, not just possible, but likely in Duluth. But in every situation, I recognize the importance of the issue, decided to step up, and believe that we ended up with a different result than we were on a path for. Because in reality, the Costco did get built, only after I called the developer, learned what the main sticking point was, and helped turn the deal around. The child care center is still opening, or still open, providing care for kids, but only after Councilor Therese Tamanek and I intervened, going to bat for the parents and the teachers to buy them time that they needed in order to acquire the facility and reopen it. The Memorial Day Parade is still here, but only after Council President Janet Kennedy and I called the city administration and the organizers together to figure out a way to get the deal done. Our police officers got a 15% increase and our firefighters also recently received a long overdue increase, but only after working with fellow counselors to amend the proposed budget from our city administration to address the impending public safety staffing crisis that we faced and still face today. And Spirit Mountain turned a profit the past two years, but only after the city administration implemented a task force that I recommended and then co-chaired and then from which interim executive director Ann Glumack and her team took the ball and ran. The truth about being a leadership role is that it often has nothing to do with your priorities or what you thought you would be working on, but everything to do with adjusting to the situation and providing leadership when it's needed. And as a leader, I've prioritized my time these last five years as your city councilor, dealing with the issues that will shape our city's future long after I'm done serving in public office. Results, not rhetoric. That's been my approach since day one. And if chosen to serve again this November, will continue to be my approach for the next four years. My name is Eric Forsman. I'm currently your Duluth City Councilor at large. I'm running for re-election. And although I can't promise what issues will emerge over these next four years, I can promise you that I will do my best to keep getting the jo job done if elected to serve you in a couple of weeks. Thank you.